for all you guys. People talk a lot about how you know, Dean Smith helped his former players and really cared about you know the whole family aspect of the program. How has Roy kind of carried that on, and you know, what does it mean to each one of y'all? Your turn. Well, I didn't play for Coach Smith, but um, the things that you hear about him, you know, as you go through the program, it's the same type of values that, that Coach has, and I. I can't even describe in words how much he's done for me. Um, and this is just another example. We're, we're so grateful that we were included. Um, it's great for our program, great for our team, and a great cause. But uh, co- Coach is really special, one of a kind. And we'll the get same in trouble for starting without him. <laughs> that's right. He's late. He's not usually late. That's a big letter. Coach, that's like 333s for three minutes late. Well, I didn't set the time. You didn't say much bad about your team at last scrimmage, though. I know that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, I've uh, been around coach for the last 23 years of my life, and uh, he's been like a father to me. And so, obviously, the way he runs his program is what I've learned is from what he learned from Coach Smith. Uh, you know, it's the same as Wes. I, I didn't play for Coach Smith. I never worked for him, so I wouldn't know. The only program I know is Coach Williams, and uh, that's where he's always been. And Luckily for Carolina fans, they got him back. You know, he had built that family atmosphere at Kansas where I played, and, and we loved it. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I can't say anything in negative about what he's done ever. You know, obviously it's always positive, and I'm pretty biased because he's the only person I ever played for or worked for in college basketball, but it's not a bad mentor to have. Building off of that, we hear a lot about the Carolina family dynamic from a player perspective. How does that translate to the coaching ranks for, for all three of you? I'll start. I, I uh, when I decided to come play for coach at Carolina, it was because I wanted to be a coach. I, I didn't think I had any chance to actually play in the games, um, and he told me if he told me that too. He said you might never play. Um, I wish you wouldn't have. Yeah, C- CB never wanted me to play. Uh, I didn't like him till uh, three years after I graduated. Uh, it's true. But he he told me he said if you come here, I promise I'll help you get into coaching and. I'm 28 years old and the youngest Division One coach in America, and he has as much to do with it as anybody. And, and the last thing I'd like to say, and I'm not saying this just because he's sitting right here, um, is the thing about Coach is he's not going to self-promote, and he's not going to go around telling everybody about all the good stuff he does. He just does it. And uh, I think it's time that North Carolina fans and people that support this school start recognizing that and really appreciating it because this is as special as it gets in college basketball.